chance to catch up here with an exclusive sit down before he leaves town with RSL and now New York City FC head coach Jason Kreiss here at his home in Jeremy Ranch in Park City. Jason, if you could talk just a little bit about what the last, say, 72 hours, but also the last maybe week to 10 days has been like, knowing that the end of the season was coming for sure, but also that you had a big decision to make whether it was going to be here or in New York City. You know, it's um, been really interesting because as every round of the playoffs came, um, I kept, it would come into my mind, okay, this decision might have to come in the next few days. And so every time I would kind of get myself emotionally prepared for that um, and still try to try to stay as focused as, as humanly possible in the match. So to go into the last sort of two weeks after we advanced past Portland, to have finally a, a date kind of on the calendar circled that said, this is, uh, this is the last game of the year, you're gonna have to make a decision, buddy. Um, it was, was odd, I think, to kind of have it it finalized because as I said for a month and a half or two months or whatever it seemed like playoffs went on forever right. um, I kind of knew that that decision was looming and then to have a, a an actual date on the calendar really kind of got me focused in um, on trying to make the decision so it's it's been very very trying uh, emotionally for the past several weeks it's been trying to uh, to keep my focus where I knew it needed to be. Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job of that. I think that the team was prepared um, for that last game. I think I did everything possible to give the group the best chance to win in the final. Uh, and then immediately when that final was over, from the press conference uh, to walking out to seeing my kids crying after the game, um, to, the, to the days after uh, the flight home here, thinking about it and thinking about it nonstop for that 48 to 72 hours has been really emotionally tough. Uh, and then the finalization yesterday morning, waking up and knowing the decision was made now, um, and then informing everybody yesterday, it's been, it's been tough, um, but, uh, but necessary, I think. This, to me, and in talking to you just a little bit, you've built something very special here. And we'll talk about that a little bit, but to me it's always seemed like, and I, I've known you for almost 10 years now, you're a guy that really likes a challenge, whether it was as a player or now as a coach and what you've been able to build here. It, it seems to me, and I've, I've tried to relay this message along, but it, explain a little bit what, what, it, what went into the process of making this decision and, and how difficult it was to, to leave what you've built here to move on to that next step in New York. The best way to explain that really is to look at my history um, in this career. Um, my history in this career is that I've, I've always, every time an opportunity has presented itself, where there may be a chance where I could be out of contract or I could go somewhere on a trial, um, and the decision literally always come, came down to stay where things are comfortable, make a decision that everybody says is an easy decision, um, to keep your family where they've been for a while, to stay where things are comfortable, to stay where you know how everything is, um, to, to, to be in a place that you're well compensated. Um, I always chose the safe route. Um, my wife and I have always chosen the safe route. Um, and so we have, some, we have some angst about that, honestly, um, through my playing career and looking back at it and saying, what if? You know, what if I had taken the, the chance to go on some trials in Europe? Um, what if I had not made the, the safe choice? Uh, and so as this opportunity became available um, through the summer and to look at it, I think we both were like, this is kind of eerie um, that we're being faced with this opportunity that we have always kind of looked back at and said, you know, what if we had made it the decision the other way? Um, and so as we thought about that, we, we both came to the sort of the, the feeling that now's our time to, to go after that thing that we didn't do um, for all those days of our playing career. Now's our time to, to really see if there's a, another big mountain to climb. Um, and so in the end, that's the decision we made and that's kind of why we made it. That's the background for that. It's very interesting because you've always used that, that motto, fortune favors the bold, and now you get a chance to live that motto. 
we tried to instill that in our group all the time, just about how we viewed playing the game uh, and how we saw the game. Um, and maybe it had never really been there for my personal life and my career. Uh, and so now this, this I think, is a, a, a pretty bold <laughs> decision to kind of throw myself uh, into the unknown a little bit um, and take a, a, what could easily be viewed as a, a, a pretty large risk. When you were giving this thought and consideration, looking at what lies ahead in New York City, what was the thing that gave you the most pause? Growing up in the sports world and not being a huge sports fan, but of course you, you can't help but hear about it, I think it's easy. I think the, the biggest hesitation is how, how much pressure packed it is around New York City and around New York sports franchises in particular. I think that in and of itself was, is easily kind of the, gives me the biggest pause or gave me the biggest pause. Um, because as I said, um, I think as everybody knows, um, it's, it's a really nice culture here in Salt Lake. Uh, around sports. The, the, the fan base has is, is always been so incredibly supportive. The ownership has always been so incredibly supportive that you feel like, you know, you, you've built something here, you've laid such a foundation that, that perhaps you could probably stay here as long as you'd like. Uh, and so it's, it's comfort and safety versus the unknown and, and, and what people uh, always say is the most pressure-packed jobs in sports. I know you'll be formally introduced in about a little less than a month there, but for the people here, give, give people that because you, you won't begin playing on the field to 2015. So so give give uh, the RSL fans and really soccer fans an idea of what the next kind of 18 months holds for Jason Christ. I'd like to, Bill, but that's I'm going to have to kind of leave that as a little bit unknown. I think it's really important to New York um, uh, to to be the first ones to kind of lay okay. it out there for everybody what the what the future holds. I can tell you it's extremely exciting. Um, my family is extremely excited about this opportunity, um, this, this learning experience that's ahead of me, this ability to, to get in um, from day one and build a team from literally scratch. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're extremely excited about uh, everything that lays ahead.